He didn't do it. That's the position of accused rapist Oscar Ingram, who took the witness stand in his defense today. The accused also called his girlfriend to provide an alibi. Jiminy Deswain reports. Oscar Ingram mounted his defense on Tuesday against Crown allegations of burglary, rape, and armed robbery that occurred between May 29th and May 30th, 2012, during an island-wide blackout. It's alleged that he broke into a Western New Providence home and robbed a woman of $165 cash, a $200 cell phone, and assaulted her while armed with a handgun. Ingram called his girlfriend of the time, Makiko Black, to provide an alibi for him. The witness told the court that only one night of the period, January 1st to June 2012, they did not sleep together, so she thought it was impossible for him to do what he was accused of doing. And across examination, Black said they dated from November 2011 and moved in together in January 2012. On the night of the blackout, the witness said Ingram got home after 6, they had sex and watched television. And later that night, her best friend and boyfriend came over. She denied the suggestion that she came to lie for a man. In her words, she had nothing to lose, but she had no reason to lie. Ingram also took the witness stand in his own defense prior to Black testifying. He said the allegation that he entered the home of a female and raped her is not true. He said on June 28, he was with his girlfriend at his cousin's house in South Beach when he said he received calls after his picture flashed across the television screen. He told jurors he dropped his girlfriend to work before turning himself in to police. He said while at the station, he underwent an identification parade, but he refused to sign some statements presented to him by officers that led to a slap and him knocking his head while heading to a room he testified. According to Ingram, when he reached that room, that was when, quote, Everything really started, end quote. Ingram claimed there was a white body bag on the floor. The officers tripped him, put a bag over his head, and then beat him. The accused told jurors that he refused to sign the statements and told the police they might as well kill him. He told jurors, quote, honestly, I ain't raped nobody. My evidence is I ain't raped nobody. They putting these things on me, end quote. On the night of the incident, Ingram also said he was at home with his girlfriend where they had sex and watched television. Under cross-examination, he insisted that he did not target the victim during a blackout, which could have been an opportune time. He also said he had no idea why out of five people tested, his DNA profile could not be excluded from a clot sample taken from the victim's panty. Just before heading into the holding cell at Central, Ingram had this to say. I rape nobody. The case continues before Justice Carolita Bethel, Chimini Deswain, Swain, Network News.